and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today I thought that we would look at some um, stamp sets in the annual catalogue. So we're going to be using Floral Essence and this little one here. And we are going to be using Very Versailles and I think we're going to just use the sentiment to have a beautiful day out of that one. Um, but we'll see. So um, we need to get this little one out first and the colours we're using are Crushed Curry and Calypso Coral. So we need to get ourselves a little piece of scrap paper or copy paper to just go underneath to protect our work surface. And then we are going to start with the Calypso Coral and we are just going to ink that up, make sure it's inked up nicely. And then we are going to just put this sort of randomly across on the page like that. So let me take my Simply Chamois and give that a clean up. Then we can use the other colour. Make sure that that's clean, yes. And then we're going to take the Crushed Curry. Scrap and make sure that's sort of centralised. Take the crushed curry. Again, make sure that's inked up. And then we're going to just put some crushed curry ones in between. Now you can turn them around if you want to. I'm just sort of doing them in just a bit of a pattern. Um, let's put one up in on here like that and I'm going to have to do one just in the middle here so we've got sort of three of them together but I don't think that that matters too much because we can put our sentiment over the top of there. So now we need to take the little black one for this and there's three little centers and this is the one we want because it's got a little dip out of it which goes into that actual center part so let's take that one out it's a very tiny one put this one back in here and I'm going to get the smallest block that we have which is the little a block so go into my case and get my A block out and the little A block is brilliant for tiny little things because sometimes if you put a small one onto a large block you can lose it quite easily so then we need to get a good black ink out and then we need to line this up against sort of the bottom and just give it a press so I'm doing this at a bit of an angle so it might not be perfect but you'll be able to get your head right over. I have a camera right above me so it's a bit difficult to get that over the top but I'm doing my best and it's not too bad. I need it there. there that one like that so you've got lovely centers in them I really like the uh, the combination of the two colors in there I think it looks um, it looks really rather nice and then we are going to get our little words out of the very Versailles stamp set and as I say this card 
is a very simple one. You're only using two colours and you're black. And so we're going to get on this. Um, now, what was it? Have a beautiful day. There's a thank you as well, which is rather sweet. But I think I'm going to have, have a beautiful day. Because it's quite good to have beautiful days at the moment, isn't it? So have a beautiful day. Let's put that on like that. And then in the black ink, we're going to add those words in right the way across. So I'm going to have one like that. We'll have one in between there like that. We'll have one sort of coming off that way. We'll have one in the centre there. And I'm doing it all at the same sort of angle. This one in like that. That one in the centre. So it almost looks like a printed sheet. One in there. One in the centre there. And that one just coming off the edge there. So you've got have a beautiful day. Oh, I might stick one just down at the bottom here coming off. So it's as if it's a page of printed words on there, which is rather nice. And then we are just going to put that this way around. We're just going to get a back. that we want. So I've got two colours that I thought might work quite well. One is black and the other is crushed curry. So that would be with the black on it, which I think probably stands out the best. That looks really rather nice like that. Let's take my little piece of paper out. So that would work on there. Um, if we take the crushed curry, that would give it a slightly paler look on there. So that's quite pretty as well, depending which colours. You could even use the Calypso Coral, but I think for me, the black stands out just beautifully. And you can then... Just send it exactly as it is, or you could put um, a bow round it um, if you wanted to take to cover up that on there. Let me see what I've got. Um, don't think I've got anything Calypso Coral that would work. Have I got any? Um, I've got the little lace one. I've got the, um, this is rather nice, the um, pretty... What's it called? I have to look up the name of it. The crushed seam binding ribbon from the um, from the poppies. And again, you could put a nice big bow over there to just um, cover up that. In fact, that is a rather nice big sort of shaggy bow. Might look quite nice. Let's just put that up and see. Because um, that bow will then come right in the centre. Yes, I think that might actually work. And because it's quite a um, a narrow sorry, a, you know, not a, a thick ribbon. It's not going to add too much onto the postage. So we can put that in just across on there. My fingers are a bit um, all over the place today. They're not doing very well, but I'm just going to do this to just give you a an idea. Says so me, I can never tie bows on camera. It's one of those things that as soon as you get onto camera, everything gets a little bit um, wibbly wobbly. But we'll have a little go. Let's have a little look like this. Yes, I will. I will play with that. But I think a you know a little bow or something over the top might look quite pretty. Um, or as I say, if you wanted it just as it is, you've just got it saying, have a beautiful day. So a very simple card, very easy to achieve, just three colours. 
and using the really rather lovely whoops, floral essence, which is in the annual catalogue. Lots of images and there's two that go with punches. So we might do something with those because, as I say, it, it's nice to use things from the annual catalogue and then we've just taken the sentiment to have a beautiful day out of there. You could use the little thank you as well. So thank you so much for watching me. Um, stay safe, everybody, and stay well and look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>